Welcome to the channel Footnote Speaking here. We are back today for a brand new video. So today guys we are going ahead and see the new function in FS2020 which is the replay function. If you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe, turn on the post notification and yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. So first thing first you have to make sure that you have the develop mode on. To do that you have to press seizure and options, general options and you go down here you will see the developer mode and turn it on all right once you have it on you can just come back here open it from here click on option and you go ahead you enable replay panel in my case i have it already so if i over here you will see that i have the replay option here i just open it all right so this is very easy to use all you have to do is to press on recording and you start recording your flight so we just go ahead and do this I will press on the recording here and I will start my flights by pressing Ctrl and E. Alright. But you have to know that this um, is a beta version, so uh, you will have some lags, but it's working very fine. Alright, so guys, let's not waste our time here and start our flight and see what this option is uh, can do for us. Alright, so now I will just start. Let me see if I can take off here. All right, turn. Also, you can just go ahead and close it here. All right, so that we'll have uh, our view here. Oh wow, this was very short, but it's fine. So this runway is very short, we have to make sure that we will take off here. After having your flight, we can open it back and press on stop and now we can press here to play our replay. You can see all our flights. But I will show you a good thing is that from here I can stay here and you know what? Keep playing. I can just leave it playing like this. Then I will from this time here I can press on mark adding the marker here and I can change the camera for example here you have to remove this okay now I can change cameras I will change for example uh, I want to be I want the aircraft I want the camera to be in the front of our airplane oh wow oh wow <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we can leave it here. And if I press on play, guys, you have to wait here. We are having a trouble here. Alright, so this bus decided to stay just in the front of us. But we can keep waiting here and still we see our aircraft moving. Alright, stops. Okay, here I can stop again and add the mark here and change maybe the camera. I will put, for example, this ang angle here. And also, you have all the options about the camera, for example, here. I don't want to follow. I can just remove and play. So, as you can see, the aircraft. Let's keep going. From now, I can stop again. Add a mark here. And 
change the position. For example here, play. Now I can stop. Ah, they get a marker here. And change the position, for example. I want to go back here. I want to change my side. And yes, play. From here, I can change again. And see, see it from here. Play. Now I can stop again, add here, change the position. Now I can change again my camera settings, so I will go back here and I want to lock the drone mode and close, then play. So this will follow the aircraft. Okay, I will stop here. Add again a marker. Okay, now I can come back here and change my camera settings. For example, here I will remove, I will close. Change the position. Now from now I can play again. Okay. Maybe change again the position so that we will see how our aircraft here in the frame. We can go actually very far. And then play. Now you can see the takeoff. Yeah, maybe go back in the cockpit. Play. Maybe again pause here. Change the view. And play. All right, now if I play here, I will see everything that I have done. So we'll go ahead and see together, play. All right, so the camera, we follow all our moves, our camera changes. So let's just go ahead and close here. As you can see, that's the first one. But this will take a lot of time. We need to wait. Or also we can just keep this open and you will see that cameras we follow all our markers all right now the aircraft should move and the camera position also should change all right as you can see another change maybe here The next change will come again. Another change. Here we are. All right. Camera, we follow the movements of the aircraft. 
there we are another marker another one and finally we are out So guys, this is how you can use the replay function in FS2020. We have again many options here that you can try, but for today, I think you have the basic understanding on um, how it works. If you have a question, leave a comment in the sec comment section down below and like this video and see you the next time. Peace.